Welcome back. The Summit League season in women's soccer is still about a week and a half away. League matches will get started on September 28th. Some good non-conference matchups, though, over the weekend. And one of them was in Brookings, Iowa State in town on Friday to take on the Jackrabbits. Scoreless in the first half and then three minutes into the second half, the Coyotes, or the Cyclones, I should say, capitalize on a give and go here. And it's one to nothing, Iowa State early in the second half. Number nine for the Jackrabbits, Kristen Nybloom, corner kick. That one not going to get the job done, but a little bit later, Nybloom would uh, take a deep ball here. Look what she does with it, ties it at 1-1. Iowa State, though, got the uh, game winner on a header in the 76th minute, and Iowa State takes out the Jackrabbits in this one. Two to one, the Jacks uh, came back on Sunday against Northern Iowa. South Coast State got the win there, four to nothing, so the Jacks get a split on the weekend. On Sunday as well, Oakland at home facing Northwestern. Oakland has been uh, pretty good against Big Ten teams so far this year. Kyla Kellerman did score a goal in this one, scored Oakland's only goal, but she and Nicole DeLuca come up uh, short on a couple of attempts here. And the Golden Grizzlies did not get the go-ahead to go in. Oakland keeper Shannon Coley was uh, very good in this one as well. She had five saves, player of the week alert as well for Coley. And they go 1-1 into double overtime. It ends in a 1-1 draw. In Fort Wayne, Indiana, IPFW up against Valparaiso on Sunday. Scoreless in this one at the half as well. Arion Mason, a great play just off the post though. And they had a couple of these in the second half. Later in the half, a crossing pass deflected by Danielle Bishop to Rachel Good. And one of the defenders gets back, kicks this one away. So still nothing, nothing. Valparaiso's Jenny Fastbinder shot off the crossbar here. Game goes to overtime, still scoreless. And Valparaiso would get the game winner here from Rita Craven. And Valpo gets by Fort Wayne, one to nothing in this one. Again, Summit League play in women's soccer gets started next weekend and for the rest of the scores over this past weekend go to the summitleague.org there you will see that omaha took two more tough losses over the weekend one to boise state one to portland state that means that coach don klosterman is still two wins away from 200 in his career the other 198 have all come at uh, omaha and here is more on the only coach that the mavs have ever had That's scary. 200 win thing is, I guess, okay. I, people use that as some, some kind of a milestone or a marker of someone's career or something, but I don't really look on it as being anything that's special because um, I just don't think about those kind of things. Uh, I've had probably nothing to do with any of these 198 wins or 200 wins. It's players, what they do, you know, and, uh, but it's been fun and it's been enjoyable. It would mean a lot to our team to get the 200th win. I know our team would be super excited just to get wins in general, and the, we do know it's coming. We're all really motivated, all really excited for it, and we know we're capable of it. Don still believes in us. He knows that we're a hardworking team, and he just keeps telling us after every game, it's gonna come, you know, just keep working hard, keep working hard at practice before every game. And I know that it would mean a lot to him, and we've been talking about it for so long, saying, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. But to really make it happen would mean a lot, and I know our entire team would be super excited about it. I think it, it would mean a lot to me to be able to be a part of that milestone for his career. And um, I think it'd mean a lot to the team, too, just to get those two wins for him. Um, we, we definitely play for each other, and we definitely play for our school. And, and so to get our coaches 200th win would definitely, I think, be a big, a big thing for our team and for him. So I think it would, it's, it's going to be good whenever we do get there. And we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't you worry. <laughs> this would be, to me, uh, one of the most fun years just because we got kids that just won't quit and they keep trying and they keep playing really hard. And as a coach, you really can't ask a whole lot more out of players uh, to keep trying and keep going after it. And I think uh, once we get through this non-conference schedule and get into the, to the league, it'll be fun and interesting, and we will have grown up quite a bit. <laughs> All right, Omaha will host Oral Roberts uh, this Friday, and then Omaha will open the Summit League season next weekend at home against Fort Wayne and Oakland. 
We are talking Summer League basketball. When we come back, a lot of schedules are out. People are talking who's going to be good. We will discuss it with our Summit League analyst, Brad Newitt, when we come back.